Hey, what's going on with all you whoppers out there? This is your co-host, Woody. Look, man, we are doing the Who Online podcast virtually this week. So y'all know the deal with me. It's your boy, Woody. Turn it over to my co-host, man. Introduce yourself. What's up, y'all? It's Keith. Nice to see y'all man, again. Man. We virtual man, now. we virtual with it, man. So let me introduce... Virtual. My guest, our guest for the show today. What can I say about this first man, man? What can I say about this first man? He's well known in these streets. All right, you can take that how you want. All right, the last time he was here, though, he absolutely killed it, and we're glad that he's back for a second time. There will be plenty of opportunities for him going forward. So go ahead and introduce yourself, my man. Talk to him. Oh, it's the one and only, the infamous cowboy. You know my name. Oh, we were talking about Joe. Oh, I thought we were talking about me. I thought we were talking about my I don't know who we were talking about. You said second time. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, the second time Joe been on the show, man. We glad to have him here. Now, for this next brother of mine, he has been my best friend since the second grade. We've been through thick and thin, a lot of disagreements, but a lot of great moments too, man. But he's here because, you know, man sharp man is iron sharp and iron. And this is my boy right here. So go ahead and introduce yourself, bro. Well, what's good? What's good? It's your boy Tim. I'm here to let y'all know how the Ravens is the best team in the NFL. Like I love it. Man, it's all right, the that's truth. my boy Tim, man. He always talking about some bullshit. All right, so moving on to my <laughs> other home <laughs> boy, man. Facts. My <laughs> other home boy. This is real blood, man. This is my duo partner for life. Sorry, Keith. This is my duo partner for life, man. We book everybody in FIFA, oh, is Call it? of Duty, Apex, nigga. You name it. This nigga is there the truth. Go. All right. The only half breed that you need. Go ahead and introduce yourself, bro. What? <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna say I'm the greatest Fact gamer play. in the whole chat. <laughs> All right, man. And last but not least, man. What can I say about this dude? This is my brother from the same mother, a real nigga in the flesh. Mister, I eat weights for breakfast. The nigga oh. your auntie won't, but can't have. Oh. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Thank oh, uh, oh God. Uh, yes, his in the audience. Every single, every single intro <laughs> should have been me. Just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. That's it. That's all I gotta say. That is it. I'm happy to be here. This is uh, Patrick, man. This is Patrick, man. He, he got this shirt on. He got it all the way buttoned down. Look uh, like a Dominican. That's what he thought Patrick I was talking about. He looked like he on a vacation. Yeah, for... So they said you yeah, said, you but I'm gonna put that up. Get yourself together. He said he's trying to keep his spice. And as always, man, we got our producer Dre somewhere in the background pulling the keys, man. He rocking with us this week. So before we get started into this week's podcast, hey, y'all, Earth I want to talk about something that I'm very excited for. And that's going to be Woody's walkthroughs. And in Woody's walkthroughs, I'm going to be playing a game every single week. Different games and releasing those videos on our YouTube channel. Right now, I'm playing Guardians of the Galaxy on PlayStation 5. And when I tell y'all, it's one of the best times of my life. I ain't lying. <clears throat> yeah, man, we ain't going to waste no time. Let's just jump right into it, man. Let's Let's do this, man. I'm ready. Shoot some things up with Star Lord, you feel me? What you doing? Oh, you are. Oh! I'm dead. I thought I had to spam it. I thought I had to spam it. I thought I had to spam it. Apparently, you don't have to spam it. Man, let's get the show rolling. So, look, what's anime, what animes are y'all into right now? What mangas are y'all up on? Y'all read anything? Watching something? Tell me. Man, I'm just not watching Hunter X Hunter. I know I'm late. I know, Ooh. I know, but I'm only like four episodes in. But you know, it's good so far. We're gonna we're gonna see where it go. We're, we're That's gonna... good. That's a good anime. I didn't hear some good stuff about that. Me and Maya watched that. The homie that. kept recommending. It, so I had, to, uh, I had. To. Them fight scenes is crazy too. Yeah. Hey. So um, I'm, I've been on Boruto. Has y'all y'all caught up in Boruto yet? Oh. Fuck oh that. my god. Yo, y'all ain't caught up in Boruto. Bro, <laughs> I have no. I caught up. I bro, caught up. I'm Boruto is so goddamn fire, man. Y'all need to go watch Boruto. Read oh. up on it in the mock, bro. That shit is real, real fire. Yeah. It's gonna be some shit that oh, disappoints y'all. If, if anybody is watching this right now or listening to this, and yeah. y'all know and y'all already caught up in Boruto, y'all already know what's going on. And that shit ripped my heart out. You know exactly what I'm talking about, too. I gotta watching that show and reading up on the manga. Just know that it's not Naruto show it's, anymore. Yeah. And that's and that's a it's, hard that's a hard pill to swallow. Pause, but you know, yeah, I, that shit just is ass. I heard there's mad beef huh? between them. <laughs> I heard there's mad beef between it's them. There's a lot of shit going oh, on yeah. in that show right yeah. now. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. a lot. There's a lot going on in Boruto. Oh, it's a lot going on, man. It's a lot going on. I'm, I'm a 
I'm going to be real. If you haven't started watching it, it starts off slow. Yeah. You just got to power yeah. through. The show is fire, man. So I definitely I I recommend it if you haven't seen it yet. Once it gets going, it uh, gets Since going. nobody else got nothing else that they want to say, we just going to keep it rolling. So, look, man, I'm getting to some NFL shit. All right? <laughs> I'm getting to some NFL shit. Okay. I know everybody in here got okay. different teams. We all from around the same city and stuff like that in L.A., but L.A. didn't have no teams growing up. So this should be some real, real good conversation going first. So who deserves to be a top five quarterback more, Derek Carr or Lamar Jackson? And you know what? I'm going to start I'm gonna start this off with – I'm going to go ahead, Christian. Go ahead, man. You started off first, man. Tell us, tell us who deserves it more, Derek Carr or Lamar Jackson. I'm gonna go with Lamar. It's the most obvious <laughs> answer. I mean, who's who's had more of an imp- who's had more of an impact on the game? Who's changed the game? Who's changed every offense or every defense that plays against him focuses on him, not the people that play. Can I can I can I interject? Go can I interject? Go can ahead. I interject? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a conversation. Do I got I was waiting. Yeah, it's a free conversation. I gotta make sure I got this. This is a free conversation. No. I don't want to hear so, nothing so from here, a Raider no, fan. Not just, but, not just not even just being a Raider fan. Lamar Jackson has had wide. I'm gonna wait till after ten. Lamar bro. Jackson has had tight end. Lamar Jackson, at least at least in the top thirty. Darren Waller's not a tight end. Her Darren Waller's not a tight end. Ranking, but hold on, but hold on, but hold on, but he just got Darren Waller last year. Be, be like, be like, Darren Waller just came out last. Year. Don't don't start acting like Darren Waller didn't have a drug problem. Derek you know Carr had Amari Cooper. No, Amari Cooper was nothing when he was. He was Derrick an all star. He couldn't even catch the ball. He, he couldn't even catch the ball. He had just having mad drops. He's a pro bowler. Chill out. He's, he's a pro bowler, but he wasn't. He was Would you say he's better than Marquise Brown? And right now, right now, Amari yes, he's, right better now, yes. right now. he's better than Marquise Brown. Yeah. He's better he than Marquise Brown. But he wasn't when he the way Marquise was better. Would you too. say he was better than Willie Sneed? Because that was our best receiver for a minute. I feel like I, 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 I want to say, say, say something real quick. I'm just gonna name off the stats. So this is just passing stats. It's not running stats. We, but Lamar Jackson's thrown for 1,900 yards, 10 touchdowns, and Derek Carr has thrown for 2,200 yards. Yeah. So three, yeah. t- three, 300 mm-hmm. yards and a two touchdown difference. I don't know about interception. Uh, let me look up the picks right now. Come on, numbers guy. I just, I just saw. Can we do those numbers? I think they both have five yeah, interceptions. We talking about both numbers, guy. How you going? Fumbles. So Derek Carr ain't fumbling. So Derek, yeah, Derek Carr ain't fumbling. Point. Derek Carr. Derek Carr is able to do more with less. Go ahead, Tim. Go ahead. Sam Rowe. Sam Rowe. Oh. Yeah. There has been no quarterback asked to do more. Well, less than Lamar Jackson. Okay. His rookie season, he came in. Our team was four and five. He finished that season. We finished ten and six. Boy, your competition. His only loss was to Kansas. His only loss was to Kansas City in overtime. Now, fast forward. Now, um, I believe they're tied to interceptions. Derek Carr's thrown for about three hundred more yards. Pretty much an extra game, but. If you ask who's been um do more for their team, Lamar's okay, been the reason the Ravens are winning. Derek, go ahead, Joe. Go ahead, Joe. Derek ahead, Carr, um, uh, has been a good reason. It's pretty much like Baker Mayfield. Don't right, cut the snig off, man. Cut the snig off, man. I'm oh, done with the snig off. All I got to do is cut the snig off. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. But he, Lamar, Lamar's the reason hey, we're winning. Hey, Derek Carr's not the reason hey, the Raiders are winning. Hey, hey. So, look, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. First of all, we're gonna kill this defensive. whole little miss that Lamar Jackson rookie year. He did it with nothing. Oh, he had team, thirteen yeah, Pro Bowlers that year on his team, and that's the tie for the most we ever in league four, history. So cut we it out with that. Five when it, it doesn't started. matter. That's still you have all them we're Pro Bowlers four, on your team. And, yeah, and he, we I think, four I think, years before that, and I think three no of them were offensive. Hold on, hold on, and two of them were offensive linemen. Two of them were offensive linemen. You had a. Okay, I hear you, but what I'm saying is you can't say you didn't have talent when you guys were tied for the most pro bowlers ever in NFL history. You got to stop with that narrative. He he hasn't been doing it with no talent. You've been having one of the most talented teams in the league. Now, this year, I will say he's done it with a lot of injuries out there. He has done it with less than most people. Yeah, he has. But even with those 17 players on IR, he's pretty much lost his running back room. He still has his receivers. He still has his offensive linemen. He still has his tight ends. He has more weapons than Derek Carr does, and Derek Carr is putting up better well, numbers right, right here's now. Here's my opinion. Okay, Passing, you know, let's say that real quick. If we don't put running in there, it's, it's a little close. I think we are edges. Go ahead, Tim. 
I think it is closer but... than maybe you what I'm like giving it. it, being biased towards my Ravens. But like I'm saying, um, and close. That- uh, but as far as who deserves it more, Derek Carr or Lamar Jackson, I'm going to give it to Derek Carr. And the reason being is because Lamar Jackson is a running back. So that's simple. Mm-hmm. That's simple for me. The nigga's not oh a quarterback. God. So it's, it's very easy. It's, it's nah, very easy. It's very easy for me to have this. this is is nice. First of all, first of all, look, hey. when you look at the numbers, look, Pat, what you got to say, nigga? What? What you got to say? Look, I respect. Hold on, Keith. Yeah. I know, Keith. But Change your mind, man. I'm a, I'm a Derek Carr fan. I am. Alex said some wild stuff. So here's the thing. Lamar Jackson, since he first came in, when he first came in and you want to say he's the running back, I'm fine with that when he first got here. And his first, like, eight games, you want to say he's running back? Running back all day. Him and I'm Derek Carr, Derek there. Carr is a pass-only quarterback. He ain't running nowhere. He is. This cannot call Derek Carr. No, 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 no. I'm saying no. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm saying I'm saying Tom Brady in the sense of he ain't running nowhere. He not running to get a first down. He ain't. He ain't. I didn't say he throwing passes and getting touchdowns. Tom Brady. You see Tom Brady. He ain't Tom running Brady nowhere. Put the wheels hey. on if he need to. Yeah, but Derek Carr can't do that. Matt Ryan. Put the wheels on. First of all, but he he. Bro, I'm just saying. He he more it's mobile than that. He like uh, Matt Ryan. Because, because, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 before y'all say oh, Lamar Jackson oh, running back, y'all just said let's keep in perspective that he's a 20th thing carries this year that, and entirely. Not that's like, all running backs on he, all teams. He's a dual threat quarterback who could throw for two. I'm just saying we can't say he's not a running back. He's like 57 passes yards away. That's that's damn near 2,000 yards. He got the same. I know too. Can we agree? Hold on, hey, can we can we look up? Can what? someone look up the Michael Vick the stats on how many times he ran? Who deserves what, to be his the top five quarterback more? Back? The MVP, mm. an MVP, who's got mm, at almost two thousand. Two thousand. Shut up, Tim. Who's got two thousand yards MVP. passing? Who's got about five hundred yards rushing? Doesn't matter how many carries he's done. <laughs> he's still got two thousand yards passing. So he's carrying the ball and still throwing this up numbers is- with ten touchdowns, and that's just passing touchdowns. We don't know rushing touchdowns. We know Derek Carr cuts off at twelve. He's not got no running rushing touchdowns. If he do, he got like one or two. Dude, so okay, who deserves so, it more? Lamar Jackson. You got to think about it. You got to think this, the offensive scheme. This looks like it's going to be the first time he passes 3,000 yards passing in his career. That's what this looks game. like. He's so running, so he's let's running not act like option. he's some. He's reading, he's let's playing. not act like he's so some elite quarterback back play, there. He's a running back who hits a wide open. But he's also the reason they get put in a position. But hold on, I'm not finished. For you to consider Derek Carr a top five run, uh, quarterback and call Lamar a running right, back, check this out. if he has 300 yet check less yards than Derek I'm not Carr, he's a running back. I'm not saying he's a running back. I'm saying he's a quarterback. He's just not. He's not. I'm not putting him above Derek Carr because Derek Carr also ain't putting his team in positions to lose. Lamar is putting his team in position to lose. He is fumbling. He's throwing picks in, 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 in the worst times. The worst times. In reality, this is this is what's yeah, going that's on. A myth. The Ravens are running that scheme because Lamar has hasn't developed the ability to throw it consistently down the number down the field yet outside the numbers. That's the reason that they're running that scheme that he's always in the pistol. He can't get under the center yet. That's, That's why he's in that scheme. That's why they developed that scheme for him because of his ability to run the ball. So therefore, when it comes to the question of who deserves it more out of Derek Carr and Lamar Jackson, is Derek Carr because of what he's doing in the air. Lamar is doing it with his legs, but Derek Carr is doing it in the air as a quarterback should. So that's so that's what I'm talking. Talking about because what's what's going to happen is when Lamar gets to the playoffs, all that shit is going to stop. That's the problem, and that's why they got eliminated the first time that they went because they said Lamar, we're going to make you sit in the pocket and throw the ball. Now beat me with your arm. Now once Lamar proves that he can do that, then Lamar will jump from well, I got him, I got him at eight in the top ten list. I got mm-hmm. him at eight. He'll jump from eight into that top five easily all day. But he's got to learn how to throw the ball consistently outside the numbers first. If that's what's keeping him out, your top five, Alex, then he should be in it already because this year he's leading all quarterbacks in um, deep passes. Um, yards per pass, um, and just throwing the ball deep. He's throwing the ball the furthest out of every quarterback. He may have, he may not have the um yards to prove it. But as far as per pass, he's throwing the ball, the ball yeah. the deepest. I got one question. <laughs> Can you agree with me? Yes, sir. Hey, me, hey, Best me, team hey, in the league. Raider fan, and I'm a Raiders fan. Our point is invalid. Go ahead, Jones. Jones going to end this segment. Jones going to end this segment. 
<laughs> all right, so look, look, I'm gonna go the ahead and end it off like fall this. Below seven. We're arguing the first Marsh of all if fall these guys are top five seven. quarterbacks. When in reality, Wait, we're arguing for that seven eight in. position because neither one are top five quarterbacks. If we're gonna be real, so that's that's the first point I want to yeah, make. We're, we're already you know, talking kind of about a fictitious year. argument, even if it doesn't exist. You know what I mean? It's a hey, it's a theory. It's a theory. But look, look, what I'm saying is, if Lamar Jackson was capable of being if Lamar Jackson was capable of being a quarterback, like just a drop back quarterback and killing somebody with his arm, they wouldn't run the system that they run. They would run that system more like Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray is in that system where more to be a top five quarterback. We we all know these guys. He hasn't. We watched the games. He's been sitting in in pistol. Who deserves if the if the he could top kill you with his arm, arm, he would do like Kyler Murray does. Right, he would use so his arm as said a, this a extra piece. component, not as main component. Was wrong and and me and just like Aries said, said he, he better so, win that championship uh, early so, because so, he ain't so, gonna so, be around late. And that's that's a Ravens Hall of Famer. Those two people don't get it. He said he said he gonna be like Cam Newton on the bench. We know who doesn't deserve being top five. Back in there, back in that top five, back in that top five. Dak Prescott. Dak in top five. All right, we're gonna wait. Let's get away. Let's get away from this. Let's get away from this. Let's get away from this. That's debatable. That's not. That's not up for debate tonight. Somebody gets it. We finna play a little game now. Before we get into this, I put together a little something, and I want to show it to y'all real quick. But are you good enough to be a starting quarterback in this league? I mean, regardless Absolutely. of the system. Absolutely. Why? <laughs> I, I think the proof is in the film for the past two years. But I, but some people would say the proof's not in the film from last year. It's okay. Receivers to the right. Jones drew in the shotgun with Blaine Gabbert. They bring Dillard near side wide left. Shotgun. Third down. Eight. Gabbert's got it. Pressure coming and Jabal Sheard's going to get him. That's As good. Gabbert throws the ball backwards into the Jacksonville. You gotta pick one. Honestly, Buck I would pick quarterback. Them. But I know that's not the game. But I don't. I don't want. I don't want any of them. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> look, I'm putting the athlete MVP. back there. Um, I'm taking Brock just because he played for the Broncos. I'm taking Brock. On the line. He's six seven. He's a line. Either, and, you know, yeah, he yeah, might yeah. have potential if he gets with the right coach. He's not fast. He got bricks on his feet. But if he learns how to throw the ball, he might win. He, he said he, he gonna put a running back back there. Go to old Lamar Jackson out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. I, I want to say Jamarcus Russell because he got because of the arm <laughs> talent. Man, me and Jamarcus would have been yeah, in there from fighting. The Texans, like, the Texans. Man, let me have given him that tape. He, and he like, didn't watch it. Was, I'd have fired yeah, him yeah. right there on the spot, man. I'd have been like, "You gonna earn this money, man? We gonna face for this." About, like, you know so I think, I think that I would have had to go with Blaine Gabbert just because of the fact that I know what their careers is gonna play out like. He the one that got paid the least. I can get up off of him. We can. We can. I made a mistake. You know what? Nobody really cares. He he made. Like Marcos seven million, like get up out of here. We good, you know. Yeah. Oh, he like fifty so, mil. They cut yeah. it. Obviously, y'all weren't there. Marcus Russell. <laughs> you know, the whole and shit. And Jamarcus Russell oh, had a record there. contract for got, the rookie, bro, so I got his rookie I'm going with the cheap options. They all suck. Jamarcus, when he pulled up, I got that. It's a 
It's a Mac coat, man. It is old, but whatever. If I'm picking, oh, if man. I'm picking one, throw it away. I'm going Blaine Gabbert. And do you know why I'm going Blaine Gabbert? <laughs> Blaine Gabbert been since 2011. It's 2021. He's done enough over the last 10 years to be one of those 2,500 players that still make a roster. I don't know if Brock Osweiler is going to make it 10 years. I, I don't know. Demarcus Russell couldn't even make it too. Yes. Yes. And that, like, there's no, there's no other way, bro. Like, I don't. It's worth don't 32 cents now. Blaine Gabbert, you know, going out no time soon. Right I mean, now, he's buying Tom Brady. Not Tom Brady, I believe. I think so. He ain't going nowhere because he's, he's. I'm pretty sure he's going to tell I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up right now. Nah, I thought he's he was Bay. in San Francisco. He's Tampa Bay. I think he's, he's behind right. Tom Brady. Yeah. He's he's still Let on me, the team. That's all I'm saying. Bro, I was all ain't finna be on the team soon. He he ain't there. You ain't even paying what attention. Me, Goddamn! Didn't I'm looking. I'm looking keep, it up. Keep right looking now. up to see what team he's on. Yeah, he do play for Tampa. He do he play for Tampa. Bay. He plays. He's you, behind Tom. He's behind Tom. He's behind Tom. You know how I know he's behind Tom Brady. I watched the last game and I said, "Who the hell is this quarterback behind Tom Brady? He ain't never getting no playing time." He's a Hall of Fame clip. He does get playing time in the fourth quarter. In the last two minutes, when they up by like thirty, he gets in, and then you know the crazy part is he goes in, he completes passes, bro. His last passer rating was one fourteen, and he passed for like seventy four or eighty yards. Two Patrick defense, shit like that. I'm saying Patrick defense, Brock Osweiler hasn't played on the team Bob. He only six years in the league. Hey, that's what I'm ball. saying, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go look up this. I'm gonna go look up this contract. Yeah, I appreciate he just, that. I appreciate that number. He's not even going in the game, bro. He's not <laughs> going in the game. <laughs> so we got Joe going with Jamarcus Russell. We got Christian going with Brock. Brock. Okay, no, right. Joe went with uh, Blake Gabbard. That's right. <laughs> It's not the Texans money. It's yeah, the that's Oscars right. Money. Mm. All right, so yeah. Joe is going to fight Jamarcus and pick Ben Gabbert and murder Brock Osweiler. And then um, the Keith, uh, who are you going with? You He's still us. blowing the Texans money. I'm going with Brock Osweiler because I know I get him. I know that I win a Super Bowl the year before. So he, be called, he, called, he called Bill O'Brien. That's Bill O'Brien. Like, hey, thank you, Bill. No, nah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'll play it. I'll play it. I'll play it. I'll, I'm probably picking Jamarcus well, Russell. He got arm talent for it. I'm going to have to, like, fight Marcus him is who got a box. get mad at him because of that, that mm-hmm. video, but I got to give him another chance. He's his, he's a number one pick. I don't know about Blaine Grabber or Brock Osweiler, but he's a number one pick. So he got the talent. He can move unlike the other ones. He's just a fatter Cam Newton. So I can I can deal with that. I had to deal with if that. That's how we, if that's how we doing it... Blaine Gabbert gets Tom Man, Brady. He always so, wins. Uh, if, it, if, it, if it's left up to me, I think I'm gonna have to go with uh, I'm gonna have to go with Jamarcus, man, because we are gonna have to get in the film room. We got to figure this shit out, bro. You got way too much yeah. talent for me to just be sitting up there and wasting. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna have to kick your ass. You might whoop my ass as big as he was six six or whatever. But at the end of the day, he gonna respect me as his GM, nigga, and you gonna get out there and play at the end of the day, boy. Because we got to figure yeah. out uh, how to how to get this talent right. As far as Blaine Gabbert, right handed Brian like that's take. what he is. It speaks for itself, nigga. But all three of them niggas suck. But at the end of the day, that's not the game we playing. We got to make a choice between those three, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. So, uh, <laughs> oh, and Brock Osweiler was uh given given a four year, seventy two million dollars. That's a fat with thirty seven million guaranteed. <laughs> Somebody had to believe in him, <laughs> bro. All right, man. So uh, moving on, moving on, but sticking towards an NFL topic. Uh, that man said it. Man, you tried it. Everybody in the NFL played it. Boo, boo. Bill, Bill Bryant. I got a conspiracy. He was trying to get fired. Listen, he was like, I'm giving Brock Cosby all the money. I'm shipping Hopkins out. I'm fucking JJ Watt. Get the fuck out of here. He was, You're not supposed to play in the trash. You're not supposed to play in the trash. You're not, you get your hands all dirty. And, I, and, uh, yo, so you're playing on the match last year. I'm, I'm no, yo, you're playing on the match. You're playing on the. Oh, my running back's running to the outside. I'm just trying to put a spin move man, on the DB. He shouldn't be able to tackle me. Man, but then he tackles you. You, you mad about bro, that? I love I'm saying, I'm going off and of now real They're taking that. all of the real skill out of the game. I'm it's not no going to pick a team. Who's better. Like, it's about whatever team you be picking, who has a good team pick, and the animation's taking over, and I just can't deal with that. I'm not picking that team. I want to play the game. I want the game to be played for. What team are you picking? Well, defensively. What team are you picking? But defensively, 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 and Madden, defensively and Madden, if you go over top any time, them, them safeties ain't stopping shit. Sam Rowe. What team are you picking, Sam. Patrick? Joe. I'm picking. I'm picking a team. I'm, I'm picking a team. I'm running with always the Raiders. 
Oh, I roll I said, my Cowboys. I said offensively, I'm not messing with Cowboys. Defensively, I'm not messing with Cowboys. Tragic. <laughs> yeah, what you mean, Cowboys? Is... Right now is the Cardinals. Oh. Uh. Oh, you try that on my defense, you're getting picked off. That's right. What you talking about the Cowboys and a good pick? This boy crazy. He's... That's true. That's, uh, well, see, the is thing true. is, when I, when I play mad, they don't really matter who defense I'm using. Alex, the, go ahead, Alex, Keith. Go ahead, Keith. Alex and Keith will let you know. Hey, it don't matter who defense I'm right. using. Right, man. I'm going to get turnovers and I'm going to get this, sacks. This and great you ain't scoring too many oh, points. It's going to be, EA you're going to have to away. win with some defense. EA so, like will said, have your just, back it's too much, no matter what. It's too much what. bullshit that happened. Like, no matter what. You wide open receivers and all of a sudden overthrow them. But it'll never overthrow them like hit the ground. It'll overthrow and hit a DB straight in his hands and stride. You know what I mean? And then right after that, Next possession, they, you fumble a kickoff or something. Or you go, oh, whatever. great. Like, just Some like that, of, like, Madden is decided. I'm in a 14 point deficit. You're going to lose that game. They're either going to win you that game or lose you that game. And it's up to them. Not to you, up to them. <laughs> it's repetitive. <laughs> the game is too repetitive and scripted. It's not like it's not like the old feeling, like when you would play someone like one on one. And they sit right next to you, and like they know how to play football. Like when you play someone online, they run the same formation, they run the same play, they just they swap out of it. I don't want to play someone that doesn't. Oh, they picked the outcome before the game started. They just let you play it out. Then comes out and gun. Oh shit! Like I said, you're garbage. That's why it's it's not real football. I've seen you play. I've seen you play. I'm not that good. I'll be honest with you. Wait, 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 Tim. Tim, that's not garbage. Because my red zone defense is immaculate. Stop, but stop right you can get field goals all day. The last time we here. had a Madden tournament, bro, the last time we had a Madden tournament, I was praying that I got a cheater tip in the first know. round. This nigga is buzz. Yeah, yes, the nigga is buzz. Yes, I knew it was a game. That was a bye week for me. That was a bye for me. That was a bye week. That was a bye week for me. So for those of y'all that doubt, that don't know, I admit that. The Madden tournament, what we do is we get we get a bunch of PlayStations together and we all meet up at the same house and we get about eight people, eight to twelve people, as many people as we can, put money in a pot. And play for the money. So we do it like a tournament style. And we play against each other. And then whoever meets in the Super Bowl, so-called Super Bowl, they, they play each other. And then whoever wins out of the Super Bowl gets the money. So basically, anytime we pull our name every out, time hat, if we... I came out, if my, mind, if my uh, name came out, nigga, and I see my matchup, I want a Tim Marashi because I knew that was a guaranteed dub. So before Tim started talking about all this madness shit, just know that this nigga suck. But go ahead, Tim. <laughs> I admit it that I'm not good at it. So that was unnecessary. Is good, but you're saying your garbage. <laughs> All I think was my red zone defense, defense, defense is good. Because <laughs> I know how to call oh, it so defense. You know, so you're not. So you when know you get into the last you thirty to pick sixes every day. thirty yards uh, to the <laughs> end zone, the smell of the field, I'm I'm, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm hey, playing I'm a, better. You're hey. Stupid. Hey, yes, I'm a, sir. Hey, That's I'm exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, for some reason, since 18, I couldn't you get the run he gave on. Hey, 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 but it's like it, it gets harder yes, for it than when you're you know, super Courage. far away. If you if you're if you're eighty yards away and you and you eat that thing, the you other eat option that is catching thing? it. If you're with that thing, you eat that thing. You eat that thing. The other option is catching it. It's easier to get the big plays. But, hey, but if you're within the red zone, you within twenty yards, and you're trying to throw a corner route, you trying to throw a post. You know what I'm saying? You trying to throw a dig, a slant. It almost becomes impossible. Because Madden, like, Flesh. I don't know, they, they change the zones and they make it to where the player is always going to be to where you throw it. It, it makes it ridiculous. Uh-huh. So, it's, it's Tim. So, Tim, you probably not even good at is the best to run in. Just Madden yeah. has your back. Red zone. Yeah, Mutt yeah, Mut yeah. is Madden Ultimate Team. Bro, yeah. what's... I used, I wait, what's Mutt? You talking Maybe about Ultimate that's, Team? That's pay to win. That's pay to win, yeah. I had to make sure. Yeah. Y'all gotta remember I'm old. Yeah, Mud is yeah, man, I'm the oldest, team, I'm the oldest so, old here, so you gotta remind me what we talking about. Speaking about, about Tia, they lost their FIFA rights. Did they? Right. So maybe uh, man, yeah, they lost their FIFA rights. So they so they might lose they they might lose. We can't so touch EA football until so NCAA uh, come out. They basically got a monopoly. They lose their rights to Mad Earth. If you really think about it, so they got they got football, football, and football. They got FIFA and and Madden, and they got 
No, that's 2K that got uh, golf, right? Yeah, 2K has golf. Okay, so they got those two games and football, and they've been running the football games since oh, no, twenty fourteen was they last NCAA? Uh, yeah, because yeah, they they've suck been running more. football. They've been running football games since ESPN yeah. two K five came out. So ever since two thousand and five, yeah. they've been running the football game. Yeah, so damn near my because I, I remember two K five, but I don't really remember. Like it's still mm-hmm. crazy. I remember more Madden. So they've been running the game for that long, and for them to lose their rights. That's just because everybody knows yeah, it's trash. Especially with a new ESPN game coming out. It was 2014. Golf is not 2K. <laughs> he took the words right out my mouth. You know, with the owner too, the dude who, uh, who uh, is in charge of all of that for soccer. Hey, what, what he came out and said too that they never liked working. What did what yeah. 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 you say? I was like, oh, that's yeah, that's yeah. big yeah. for him to come out and say that. Like he didn't just say we're not dealing with you. I'm gonna let y'all know. That's like you know, and I was like, as a fan, I was like. I ain't gonna lie. We don't talk about that shit. enough, man. I she was in the wild. I can't like win. It. I can't win shit. Jordan Speed? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, 2K. I, no, I yeah, Jordan Speed. That's just hard. That's hard. Hey, hard. Hey, hard. 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 I was first of all. Yeah, that game was six dollars. He could have died. He hit a tree, man. Come on. That could have been the end of Tiger. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not playing down, so I'm just finding ways to stay and take games. I was on rock. But I was locked down, so that's why I'm buying it again. All right, y'all ready to get to the next topic? Yeah, yeah, TV introduce the next topic, bro. I bought a lot of games. All right, all right. So this is this was my sleeper team. No, this was Jabril's sleeper team in the beginning of the year. So how far do y'all think the Cardinals? I live in Orange County. We talking about playoff Super Bowl. They they gonna go trash. They about to lose ten straight. How far do y'all think? Hey, hold on, hey, hold on, hey, hold on. Hey, Dre, cut this part out. Um, when we introduce let, let the topics and we start let talking, first, listen, listen for Dre, and then Dre, you call out everybody so we don't have to keep saying, you go first, you go first. Call call out everybody so we can go through. All right, so start over, Keith. Yeah, go ahead, Dre. Okay, so yeah, you just... this question is about the sleeper team that Jabril picked. It's they from the NFC West, it's the Arizona Cardinals. How far do y'all think the Cardinals? We talk about Super Bowl playoffs. If they gonna go trash, mm. you know, Kyler Murray gonna lose his leg, like his, his leg about to fall off. Mm. Um, I think the Cardinals are. They're not going no further than the NFC. divisional round, or I believe that the furthest is the AFC Championship round against the Packers. Um, whoever they meet the Packers at again in the playoffs, they're gonna lose. And let's see. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's that's what I believe. So you think they're going to the Super Bowl? I think the I think they're gonna beat the Packers in the NFC Championship. I think they need to get their get back. They just the, lost on the fucking the Bucks, on some bullshit. The Cowboys. They're gonna the get their get back sooner or later. Oh, wow. Yeah. Bucks. For the NFC, who else in the NFC? The Cowboys. Rams. They might play the Cowboys. <laughs> So I'm a, I'm a say, Bucks, Jabril, yeah, that's fair. I called this in the beginning. I, okay, well, I said like I said it was the championship or Jabril, whatever. One of them brothers is like twenty of them. <laughs> All I'm saying is, I called it in the beginning. Kyler Murray was nice. He got yes. You know what I'm saying? He got he got JJ Watt on defense <laughs> side. Then he then he added AJ Green. I said that's just another weapon to go with D Hop. They gonna make the playoffs? Are they gonna make it past the first game? I don't know. I don't know if that defense is gonna be able to hold up. The defense is good. But it ain't great. It ain't great. Hmm. It's a little surgery, surgery, whatever. They don't have JJ. They don't have JJ Watt anymore. He just has. He just. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, so JJ Watt is he's out for the year, like you were saying. So that's a big blow. Yeah, that's a big blow. But the thing that worries me about the Cardinals is the same. This is it feels like I'm watching the same thing as last year. Like they started off a little better this year, but they were hot last year, and the same thing happened. Kyler Murray got a little right a little nick to his uh, lower body, a lower body injury, and right all now. it all he it does is it just takes away a little bit of his mobility, but just they, a, just a they little bit. You know, the Rams they, they don't got First enough all, protection to, 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 for that to be okay. He has to move around, so he lose that mobility, and it could end up falling apart like it did last year. They they losing. They make playoffs, but they are not going to the championship. And so they gonna be second in the division. Hey, feel, hey, right. if a nigga is just a, hold on, 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 hold Look, they they not they not winning their division. They're gonna be a wild card <laughs> thank team. Thank you, thank you. They're gonna be a wild card team because of they're not winning their division. So they they still have to be They're gonna beat whoever's in the wild card game. They're probably gonna beat. But that's as far as they're going. They win one playoff game. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. That does matter. Yeah. I'm talking about. I'm just hey, talking about injuries. I'm just talking about injuries. You third string center. It does. That doesn't matter. You have a no, right guard and a left guard. No, it does not. Yeah. All you have to do is snap the ball. He's gonna. Have, no matter. No matter. No. No matter what the situation is. Yeah, okay. Well, no matter what the situation is, the running back will help with the nose guard. No, I'm not talking. The right guard will help. I, okay, I understand that. And if the protection that. slide, that. it's gonna be a joke, double. Unless it's a one-on-one one 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 nose this. guard. There's I understand no that, but it's, 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 still, it's still injuries that unless are just, incurring he, in the season he's that's going to uh, end up hurting them. Just like, how, just like how last year he said Kyler Murray got hurt, maybe because of this third string, maybe they do one-on-one coverage, and he gives up a nose tackle who was supposed to be on one-on-one with that right guard. That's it. That's season over after that. That's what I'm saying. I, I agree with Christian on this. I... I So I, I That's true. <laughs> okay, so what what I'm gonna say is I kinda agree with both of y'all. So Christian mm-hmm. on the, the, the point of uh, the center okay. thing isn't really concerning I agree because with of the fact that they didn't have a good old line to begin with. That. So he was running for his life anyways. But what I will agree with you, Keith, is is that injuries does play no, a big part that, of a bad center does affect like the lot. A bad Hopkins, center does and, 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 and I gotta say something about the Rams. The Rams had a bad center. Most times, but what's your point? A bad old line does affect the whole team. I ain't worried about this. I ain't worried about a bad center being out and being replaced with another bad center. You're like, man, here's another band aid for that band aid. I don't want to say that, but you're dead. But he was. You rubbing his but nuts that was on bad anyway. <laughs> yes, we said that, and then and then and then sorry to bring up old wounds, but Christian in the Super Bowl, what happened the first play of the Super Bowl? Okay, you talking about it? You talking about a rare instance? Talking about a rare instance? I actually think Center is the hardest position to play. Okay. Dude, I, I I agree with you that the Cardinals Hold are probably going to win one playoff game, hey. but I disagree with the reason. Hey, 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 Keith, Keith, let me stop you right there because Kyler Murray doesn't even really get on the center. As long as you can do a decent shotgun snap, which every center should be able to do, it should feel no different who who's doing it. It's really going to come down to Dallas and probably Green Bay in the NFC Championship. Um, if and it depends on matchup, it's going to be Dallas or neither Green Bay or. Or, or um or it's gonna be one of those three teams. Yeah, and the reason yeah. I picked Dallas is because Dallas played them in an earlier game this year, first game of the season, and took them down to the wire. And it, and on that last play, I think it should have been an OPI, but they didn't call it, and that would have changed the game for them. And Dallas might be having a different season right now. So at the end of the day, if they catch them again in the playoffs, yeah, but I'm saying they would be undefeated. So with that being said, if they catch them again in the playoffs, then I do think yeah. that Dallas can can take them out. And but I think that's the only team that can take out Tampa Bay. Dallas is five and one, six and one. Hey, but who hey. beat Tampa Bay? I think the Rams could beat Tampa Bay. You can say the same. You can say the same thing if Kyler doesn't throw that ball. We talking about the we talking about the Cowboys, but I'm saying we originally the question was the Cardinals, but I was to my point was that the Cardinals ain't getting past yeah, the first and getting past the first after they get past the first round, who are they gonna be? 
They're not going to beat Arizona. They're, gonna be, hey, they're not going to beat hey, Tampa Bay. I'm going to be they're real. Gonna be LA. They're going to be Dallas. I think what, what I'm saying with, uh, hey. with, that, with that Cowboys thing, yeah. man, they're going to be live the at the end of the year. The problem with the Cardinals. Back. You, you got to remember, we're doing all this. Problem. Next right topic. Right tackle, pro Bowl, Next right tackle. topic. Start pro Bowl then. <laughs> we talking about the Cowboys now. You feel me? The Cowboys get knocked out round one. Hey, you feel me? <laughs> knocked out round one. Next topic. <laughs> Yo. Yo, let me. Hey, hold on. Hold on, hold on, Joe. Look, hold on, look, Joe. Look, hold on, Joe. We're not the end of 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 Seven years ago, JJ Watt. That whole team is a that whole team. So, put the oh, okay. But they don't. But they don't. But the, the Cowboys. Sure. The Cowboys, Cowboys barely make the got any more. So what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, once you once you get to that playoff time, as much as we hate to say it as fans, and as much as players hate to say it, that experience matters, dog. Like hey, it's just a different AJ vibe. Green. You see the playoffs in the NFL, the NBA, NHL. Hell, you see the NASCAR. It, it, it's, it's different. As soon as you hit the time to A, it's win or go home. Teams change, hey, game hey, plays hey, change, coaches start making dumb decisions. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What y'all not, what you, all that stuff. So, the Cardinals right now, to the play I ain't gonna lie, the difference between the Cardinals and the Cowboys is coaching. And if I had to give one the higher, not player-wise, I'm talking about coaching-wise, yeah, who's going to make the right decisions, <laughs> I'm going to go with the Cardinals <laughs> over the, the Cow... Keep, Joe, Joe, stop. No, Joe, stop. You stop it now. You stop it, Joe. You take it, my Kings. Kings. Yeah. Oh, you, said, you, said all that, you said all that about playoff experience, but pick Cliff Kingsbury? <laughs> Right. We're going to have to mute Patrick. Mute Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Hold on, Jeff. Hold on, Jeff. Hold on. Go, Matter go, of Fury is a go, Super Bowl coach. Wait, no. Because the producer, the producer's in my ear. The producer's no, in my no, ear. No, don't next. No, I don't nope. think it's no, 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 uh, hey, no, no. Hold on. Hey, uh, let me rebuttal. What do you let think me rebuttal. Happen in the playoff game, Come on, no, let me what rebuttal that. Right? You just said some nonsense, bro. Okay, so what I think is going to happen is I think he's going to do the same thing he did when he had Aaron Rodgers. He's going to go win a championship because this is the most talented team he's had since he won a championship. Because let's not talk like uh, Cliff Kingberry is some seasoned okay. veteran with winning because he was had a losing record What's in college Alex, and then got uh, to the NFL, boy. and this is the go first ahead, time Alex. he's ever had success. So let's not say that we now believe in this dude who's had his first winning record ever. And now he's more than his winning quarterback or coach. And let's remember, he's supposed to be this offensive genius, yet our offensive coordinator has the number one offense. He had the number one offense last year before Dak got hurt, and the year before that he had the number one offense. So how do you guys have the better coaches? That's a terrible point. And the – Hold on, hold on. And so, and the, the defense number, the defense number is number one in interceptions and top three in sacks. That's what the defense <laughs> is. That's what the defense is. Okay, so, okay. Hey, that's hey, perfect. Hey, that's hey, perfect. Hey, 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 and look, look, and the last thing, the last thing there. I'm gonna say, and the last We're thing I'm gonna say about the Cowboys is, is y'all talking all this about the Cardinals, the Rams, the Bears. You're not gonna be You're not gonna be right. You're gonna be second. 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 Hey, hey, look, look, you can say that, you can say that, you can say that, you can say that, you can say that. This man uh, has been uh, touching these women, I don't yeah. know if he was or not. Yeah, allegedly, man, there's anybody who knows how to win, that's Jerry. Man. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. allegedly. <laughs> the horniest man alive. Keith? <laughs> <laughs> I'm... He's an alleged, ah, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly serial misogynist. There's two niggas that I don't trust around my girl, Deshaun Watson and Mo Guns. I don't trust them niggas, bro. I don't trust them niggas. If y'all don't know who Mo Guns is, it's that nigga Tim on Twitter. Mo Guns. Hey. We do not trust him. But you know, you know, you know, guns guys. with a Z. He, guns with a Z. Yeah, they are, man. man. So he is a serial misogynist. He is a guns with a Z. Deshaun Watson. I'll tell you a lot right there. He got an issue. Yeah. 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 Just run me down, baby. Come on. I got the. You know what? I'm gonna start this off. I don't want him to go no crappy ass organization. 
Come to New Orleans. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I don't want to see him in a Miami jersey because that's going to be even. I mean, it's yeah. going to be it's going to be a little bit better than yeah. the Texans. He's Go follow him. Play. It is a great oh, follow. It is the is greatest terrible. follow you'll have this on other Twitter. He's on there was talking about. Um, yeah. No, it was Miami, way. and there was one other team, wasn't it? I'm unsure. How I'm much? I want him. I want him to go. He don't. He don't go to. He, I want him to go to New Orleans as a fan, but. Go to a good organization. Oh. Go to the Packers. The Panthers just said they didn't want You trade want Jordan Love, Man. and you give up a first-round pick, and you already losing Aaron Rodgers, you already know, go to, go get Deshaun Watson. Hey, hey hold on. Hey, That's Keith, I, I normally don't jump in when I'm not supposed to talk, but uh, when you say go to the Packers, <laughs> when you say go to the Packers, the team that can't even get – Aaron Rodgers to be happy. He can't have a good organization, as in that's winning. a good organization. The one where the owners don't want to talk. To them. Are you talking about the same team where the owners, the owners don't respect the quarterback? And did you talk about the same team where the owners don't have a real running back? They put a wide receiver <laughs> at the running back. A bad team. Okay. Drake. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Any anything any cowboy take is a dub take. Hey, keep, hey, Plus, keep come to New Orleans. Like, keep, keep, go to New Orleans. You said the Saints. Keep. Keep, no, when you, when you say organization, <laughs> you can't say. I say don't go to a bad organization. organization bro. Literally, you can't say that. You can't say Green Bay. But you say you get it. I get it. Somebody got to give Bay. us the dumb that's tape. Not, that's you that's feel me? Keep this line. I got it. It's like, there's a other. I'm I'm just the man that stepped up. That's you feel me? That's all. Green Bay, then they started. Did you hear about Green Bay? started going in. Max started going in. Green Bay is not a great organization whatsoever. No. He, was, he hasn't been mad every year. He can't throw every year, been mad. Been there, bro. He's been, he's been, like he been mad for two straight there. years because they drafted every coach he's had. They draft, every coach they haven't had. drafted a wide receiver. That's it. This, uh, no, this 2012. Since when he won the Super Bowl in 2009, he won the Super Bowl. Since that year, he ain't been happy. Was it 2012? Was it 2012? All right, whatever. I'm there. I'm there. Oh, Green Bay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> Shut up, Tim. Yeah. First of all, hold on, hold on. Time out. We're game. arguing about something that don't matter because that is the stupidest uh-huh. place for him to go. That's like, right. you, you might right. as well say go to the Seahawks. Like, why? All right, why? hear me out. What, for Give what? A, for what? The only I'm not. Really I, I, that was just. Right I lost away, brain cells listening to that the argument. Minnesota Vikings. And yeah. think about it. No. Really, really think yeah, about I'm it. How right many there. offensive players he has? What that offense? What the running back? And then he has two Pro Bowl mm-hmm. linebackers on the opposite side with Everson Griffin. I think, like, I think that's a place where he can go and they'll make it the NFC, mm. like, right away. I like that. I like that as well. But. <laughs> I think um, Joe took my Steelers pick, but another one I think is the Buccaneers. Whoa. Tom Brady's going to be gone in about two years, and <laughs> by the time he's gone, all the uh, yeah. sexual assault will be forgotten about. Right, 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 right. Great way to pull him back in. <laughs> oh, man. All right, man. So, moving on. All right, man. Uh, <laughs> the so, Steelers so was so my Collectively, we're going to do this. The Steelers was my original pick. Oh, yeah. But I wanted something. to be different. But, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to come up with the top three corners. <laughs> hey, man. Right listen, now. listen. The top three. If, if, the top three. if there's yes, any organization five, that can help him be sexual assault, be, it's the Steelers, not okay? Not top three? Four, <laughs> five, yeah, top three. He'll be following in Big Ben. So, um. Big Ben did that shit, okay? I'm going to pass that off with this one. Yeah, I mean we gonna come up with it collectively, but you got you need to start making cases. Man, you want me hit my man. top three? All right. So I know, yeah. Uh, so then the nigga ain't all top right, three. All right, all right, all right. So I know you gonna get mad at me about this, but I'm, I'm gonna let y'all slide. He, they are top three. Check it out. Okay. Top three. No, no particular order. Of one, two, three. I'm okay. gonna say three names: Jalen Ramsey. Okay. Jair Alexander. Jalen Johnson. Listen to me. Don't, don't get mad at me. Who is that? Jalen Johnson. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Hold on. Hold on. But, no, 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 no. Wait, hold on. Can I finish? Can I finish? Why? why you I had this in the first half. Why I said Jalen Johnson. Not going to lie. Over my own player. Over Casey Hayward from the, the Raiders. 
is because when you when you look we're at talk about three. Oh, if you not if Casey Heron in your top five, shut the fuck up. Keith. Don't talk to me. But all I'm saying is, but I'm saying, but I'm saying, the reason I put him in is because although that defense went from what we thought it was going to be yeah. the game to something totally different in these last five games, he, he's still holding it down. And when you look at you know saying the yards, the yards against him, and all that the interception, all that other stuff, that don't matter, bro. Like no, ain't no yards coming against him. He's shutting it down. That's one. Two. Who who else? Who else? Who else you got? Tim. Who you got? <laughs> I would say Marlon Humphrey, but after Jamar Chase did him last week, I'm giving it to Diggs on the Cowboys. Um, I don't think no one's been playing better than him this year. Yeah. I, I agree with um, Jalen and um, can I, can I say something about Jaylen that real well. quick? Yeah? Yeah, I think the third spot should go to Diggs. I have to do it. I'm going to wait. Go ahead, Christian. Go ahead, Christian. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I think Trayvon Diggs is way better than Jair Alexander. Trayvon at two. He got the highest interception. He got seven. I'll start with Jalen Ramsey. Don't do it. And then I got Jadavious White. Who's that? Who's that Steelers? No, who's that? Who's that? Trayvon Diggs. Charles Woodson is the other one. So, or why was it? Yeah. So, so Jalen won. Trayvon two. I want to pick Tredavious White, but I feel like Tredavious White got more around him. <laughs> but Jair makes more of with the – like, they still got good defenses, but I feel like the Bills' defense is better than the Packers' defense. And Jair is more of an impact than, ter- than Tredavious White. So I go Jair. Charles, so my honorable mention is going to have to be Tredavious White. He just barely missed it. But I'm going to go ahead and have to put Jair Alexander at number three. Because, you know, he, 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 like you he said, said, he does a lot like for a defense that I, I do feel has some holes that he helps cover up a lot of. I got to put my boy Diggs at number two. Mm, as far as me, man, like I think one time, is, you know, this is the first year he's done this. But, for sure you know, he played eight that. games last two, year and had four got, picks. So, you know, Jair, this ain't nothing new. Sure. He a ball like hawk. He's going to make plays. A lot, a lot of holes in the defense, man. Yeah, so, and then you got to put Ramsey at the top. You know, Ramsey, he got some body work, so I'm going to give him the slight edge. But if Diggs keeps up this pace where he can get between four to, like, six, 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 up the most Next yards play. as a corner, but the reason I got him in that top three is because he's turning the ball over better than anybody else in the league right now. And there's something to be said about that. When you're making turnovers, nigga, regardless of if you're giving up yards or not, nigga, you deserve you're a top player because you're making plays when they need to be played. But the only time he's really given up yards he's is better. when he's expecting he's better. to be help. History. Is when like he's not <laughs> really expecting the safety to be there and the safety is playing middle of the field because he has two different yeah, routes and, to cover. And, and, Pat, so. and Patrick, who the but fuck you guys, I, I is said he was smart. Who smarter. is he? Let's, let's just move on. He's a lot fast, a lot what faster. team does he play for? What do you, what do you mean? He's he's one of the top five <laughs> yeah, least yards yeah. against him. What team does he play for? He's not playing what for the What team does he play for? He does not play for the Rams. He's a stock corner. He's a stock corner, but but ain't nobody fucking. What team does he play for? He did not play for the Rams. He did not play for the Rams. He did not play for the Rams. Hey, smarter, bigger, stronger, faster, better ball hog. I can name you five. I, I can name you five better corners that we didn't call on the list better than Jamie. I know Johnson. he was. He was upset. Hold on. He plays for the Bears. Hold on, Keith. Hold on, Keith. Hold on, Keith. Hold on, Keith. He's a slot corner. Before we go on, he doesn't even name it off the slot corner. I just want to say he does play for Bears, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the only the only issue I have with y'all across the board is this. And before y'all start tripping out, hear me out. So Trayvon Diggs last Browns? year, right? Great, great play, like Joe said. He had four picks last year, whatever. He was, he was, mm-hmm. he was in the top seventy players. You don't even know what team he on. He's like top per, three. you know, PPF. Okay. You know, they they hold stats and all that. He this year is one of the worst. He's in the top three of most yards allowed against opposing receivers in the league. Add that up against running backs. He is in the top three of missed tackles against running backs. He is. The only thing, the only thing, the only, only reason I give y'all Jalen, or, or my bad, the only reason I give y'all Diggs in my top ten is because he gets those interceptions. The interceptions that he get, but even then, when you're looking at the interceptions over and over and over again, you replay them. You like Alex sends the thing this morning. I replayed it four or five times. I said, bro, three of those picks, like the one against uh, Adams, he ain't getting that. The one against uh, Devontae Smith and the Eagles, 
he ain't getting that. If, if Devontae Smith said his feet, he ain't catching that. That's a that's a knockdown either way. But all I'm saying is you're 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 throwing out outliers. Like y'all are giving him the outlier plays that he's getting lucky with, and he has his seven. I will say for a DB, for sure hands, for sure hands, he's solid. But other than that, like yo, you got it. You you a Cowboys fan? You got to admit he is giving up first downs. He's giving up twenty yard plays. He's giving he's giving up yards, bro. <laughs> Is and I, yeah, I'm a Cowboys fan, but I'm also you feel me. I, I plan on doing some coaching, and I what I specialize in exactly. is DB. You feel me? That's what that's what my expertise is. And what I'm gonna say is, yeah, he gives up a lot of yards. But when you're on defense nowadays, it's not like it used to be where yards really so much matter. It matters about points. You know, I mean, you can move it up and down the field all you want, but the fact that he has more touchdowns than he's given up this year, I don't care how many yards he's given up. He's scoring more than he's given up touchdowns. You feel me? I'm like, and the system that we're in isn't designed to to stop you from getting yards. That's not what Dan Quinn coaches. Dan Quinn coaches exactly how I would coach. We're going out here, we're trying to get sacks, no, and we're no, trying no, to get interceptions. I, I, I got to go and move no, the ball. No, 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 we ain't trying to give up nothing but field goals. If I was Patrick, and I just need You have a high-powered offense. You had a number one offense. You don't have to go out there and shut the lead down. You have to go out there and take the ball away. He just wanted to do that. He just wanted to do that. That's literally what you want. I mean, yeah, shut down the streets, but if I can have somebody who can take the ball away. Once a game, once every other game. All I have to say is, all I have to say is, once every game, once every game. Look up stats. They don't show you how the stats happen. They just show you the stats. It don't matter what the interception looks like on the field. It's going to come up as an interception on the stat. And the last thing is, Trayvon Diggs, if he gets four to five picks, if he ends the year off with 12 picks, or 11, he's going to get a DPOY. <laughs> and you cannot deny that. And you cannot put you cannot put a non-DPOY corner in not your top hey. three. Well, it is that's, that's true. So, man, with that said, that's, right all that's, said, that's only four to five more. That's facts. You got that's seven. Facts, man. Yeah, yeah. You talking you talk facts. And you I fucking facts. hate the Cowboys. You talking talk facts. Well, but anyways, man, that is going to wrap it up for this edition mm-hmm. of the Who Online podcast, man. I appreciate all of y'all that came on and everybody who is supporting us right now. Uh, man, if you like what you're seeing here today, you yes, like watching this on YouTube, sir. make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that good stuff, and we're going to catch y'all on the next one, all right? Peace. Peace. Talk to him. Talk to him. Thank you for tuning in to the latest video of the Woodhaven Media Productions. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. See y'all in the next one. Peace.